This work here means that Page Steel is able to increase its workforce by um, almost 30%. This is a great story about the jobs that are being generated uh, through our desalination plant. As you know, it's the, the biggest plant in Australia, $3.5 billion, and the projects that we're letting as part of the desal plant will generate something like 1,700 direct new jobs across our state and over 3,000 indirect jobs. And what you see here at Page Steel is just one example of that. Um, they've won the contract to provide much of the steel. You've seen some of the, uh, the girders, the support, uh, the steel fabrication that's being provided for the desal plant. Uh, many of those uh, very, very large construction pieces indeed, weighing four and five tonnes. And today we're releasing the consumption figures for 2009. Uh, what they show is that Victorians across the state have just done a magnificent job in bringing down water consumption, stopping the waste of water, particularly in households, as we faced a very difficult year last year. This is a great story for our state, and the, uh, the measures combined on the demand side, what we've done with households, the target 155, the achievement of that, and then what we've done through the supply side, the Sugarloaf pipeline, um, the infrastructure across the state, and of course uh, the uh, desal plant has meant that we're providing in every sense of the word the roadmap back from water restrictions in our state. The desal project is of course an incredibly important project for Victorians. Uh, it's not just an incredibly important project for Melbourne, uh, but many other towns will also benefit from being able to connect to Melbourne's new supply options. Uh, and what it means is we have sources of water that aren't dependent on rain. We had incredible rain over the weekend, incredible rain, the biggest storm that we'd seen in 40 years, but really the impact on our storages was relatively modest. So we need to recognise that the desalination project, the government's other water projects, uh, are really the best long-term solution to move away from severe water restrictions. We can't continue to rely exclusively on rainwater collected in dams and storages. We need other options, and that's why desalination is such an important part of the state government's water plan.